Good morning. I'm Derek and I'm, I'm ready to paint up or start painting up this U.S. Rifle Company. And I see a lot of guys painting on the sprue. A lot of people painting on the sprue. And I thought I'd give that a try. It'd be the first time for me, so... I picked out my colors a bit and I've experimented some with uh, epic scale. Just seeing how my colors are going to work together. I'm thinking painting on the sprue, especially for something at this scale, might be just the right thing to do. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty lovely. And I painted these guys with this technique that I've been just using lately where I am uh, basically just painting one side black with primer and one side white with primer and these guys who've based have are these guys who are based have already had a wash of black on them and boy painting the seven millimeter epic scale makes painting these 15 millimeter guys a lot easier like twice as easy it's a gorgeous beautiful day here in Seattle I get to go back to my awesome stadium job tomorrow, which has a weird schedule. We're usually nothing happening in after the end of football season until soccer starts picking up and then the summer concert season. And then football. And then it gets really, really, really insanely super busy. Yeah. I, I didn't follow the directions on these guys. They have, they have some beautiful plates showing exactly how they should be set up. But I wanted to just run with it and see what I got. And, uh, you know, I keep thinking Warhammer, so it's a command squad. Uh, so he's got a heavy weapons guy, this guy here, a spotter, and then uh, a commander, and then another, another dude who's sandwich, basically. <laughs> I feel like I missed somebody's pants on this side. Try to stay... got some music for my fan game, which I, I haven't worked on my fan game in a little while, and since I've got some, some pigment, I'm going to touch up inside of my new mini-me just a little bit, there we go, just darken that, this should be good. Soon I'll get back on the fan game. Last year was just rough and interesting. Oh, I, I should have painted the guys on the sprue with the darker done. I'm using a Van Dyke brown. It's, it's nice because it's very, very dark and it's very, very thin. And it comes from Blick, which has storage down the street.
Oh, yeah, these guys have some lovely detail. Uh, <laughs> I'll try to find the box and uh, figure out what, what game they're from. This brown goes on very lovely. Dark and thin. And I gotta remember there. I'll go over, I think, with the weapons in black. And then I'll go study the picture that I have, a nice color photo of some GIs in Italy. Yep. I'll go over with black on all the equipment and I'm not sure how to do their faces because uh, to be honest it's the first time I've really taken a really good close look at these guys alright yeah so far I'm voting for painting on the sprue this is a lot easier I, I can't imagine doing it for the uh, the Warhammer guys. I'm such a an old dog and a luddite. And uh, yeah, this is this is quite enjoyable. This would have been a little crazy beforehand because I would have used blue tack or something. Would have glued them to a, a magnet. But then, no, oh, the um. We're going to Battlefront Miniatures. There we go. <laughs> nice. The 21st century is pretty cool. All right. And what I like best about this set is a lot of these uh, a lot of these guys are in the same poses as you know the little Green Army men. That, I'll, I'll paint up a squad of them one day when I. Learn how to use enamels. Yes, yeah, a lovely day in Seattle. Looking forward to the. Where's his shirt? Lighting up. All right, right above his. Let's see. I don't know. He's he's got some something weird going on. Some sort of pantaloons. I don't know. The, the music to the fan game a little bit mesmerizing. I need to eventually fly around to the other side of the planet and see what it sounds like there. Because it should sound different. It should be evolving as we listen to it. I don't. One thing I'm testing today is just to see if it can be heard in my, in my new layout. Bit of water, let's moisturize it. And... Yeah, the, the brown looks a little weird going on, but it really does dry nicely, I think. We'll, we'll find out in a moment. Let's see, the 442nd. I, I did a bunch of research before I picked a, uh, a historical uh, infantry group. And yeah, touching up the pants a little bit. <laughs> it's too much fun.
<laughs> I think I was off camera for all of that. Well, thank you very much. I think that is most of the browns. I should have gone ahead and what I'll try to do, since we're just kind of experimenting a little bit, is I will water that down immense a little bit and see what happens if I try to get their backpacks because A lot, a lot. It's watered down just so that we get a little lighter, and then we will cover that very, very shortly. There's beautiful detail on it. So. Not, not what we got in the 80s. It wasn't like this, so. Go ahead and try to paint some of their guns a little bit. Oops. That'll look fine. Try to get their, their packs. Just a little bit, just so that when we add the a khaki pigment on next over their uh, their tops, uh, these packs will just show up just a little bit different color. We're gonna paint them too, and uh, you know I actually have no clue what what color their packs are supposed to be, so we're gonna guess there. No clue what this guy is at all. Let's see, is that everybody's packs a little bit? Uh, no, let's go just a little more. Try to stay in frame. Get some of those missing bits. darkening the gun which I did a little study a while ago on how to paint these, these guns. I did not do a good job and they're not as wild looking as the, the guns in Warhammer which you can paint bright yellow and everyone thinks it's a lot of fun so I'm trying to be a little bit more respectful I think of the original colors here all right just on one boy these guys have a lot of packs <laughs> so we will cover all those up One more, but that's a shovel. Whatever. Just a lot of detail on these guys. It's quite lovely. That's it. Do a lot of work on them. Just darkening the rifle. Right now, it'll get some lovely treatment later. Not too bad, I hope. Thanks everyone for their patience. And uh, khaki next.